to all the skaters. Some like their water in liquid form rather than solid. I know I enjoy diving into a nice cool swimming pool. Many like to head to the beach and hit the waves. We check in with Bob Freeman for this weekend's surf forecast. Okay, thank you. Looks like we'll have plenty of surf again this weekend. And I even see surf building some later today. If you have a chance to get out after work, after school, any time before dark, I think you'll find surf in the solid waist-high range. Maybe some chest-high sets. A lot of wind on it, though, but it's an incoming swell. A lot of wind on it is going to produce some bumpy conditions, and that will carry on into the weekend. So Saturday, I'm seeing a lot of waist-to-chest-high surf, uh, wind 15 to 20 miles an hour in the southeast. This is a southeast swell as well, so that means to us that there'll be plenty of surf all up and down our coast, so everybody will have a chance to spread out, find plenty of waves. Sunday looks to be a little smaller, but the wind should also decrease too. So what I'm calling for Sunday is surf mostly in the waist-high range, but uh, a light breeze out of the southeast could get windy in the afternoon, but I see much cleaner conditions on Sunday. I'd still call it semi bumpy but mostly waist high at all breaks. So get out there this weekend, have a good time, be safe. This is Bob Freeman for Florida Today. Thank you, Bob. A local surfer well-versed in the word champion is Kelly Slater. The Cocoa Beach native has played a significant role in expanding interest in professional surfing worldwide. Nine world titles can do that. Slater and local brothers CJ and Damian Hobgood are in Tahiti this week for the Billabong Pro. You know, I was, I was definitely on a fast learning curve out there, like, Took a couple, had to try to pull through, kind of went over the lip and ended up in the lagoon a couple different times. I, only, I think I went through two times, but the last one was worth it. The last one was pretty exciting. Florida Today will keep you updated on how our local surfers do as they conquer Tahiti and all the other exotic locations on the ASP World Tour. Check inside Florida Today Sports and on floridatoday.com.